Hey, I'm Margaret, your Code Wizards HQ instructor. Our lesson today is gonna to cover what is coding and how we use it in our daily lives. So let's get started. Let's start with this question. What are computer programs? So inside your computer are a bunch of programs that are running right now. Your browser, or maybe you have a text editor like Microsoft Word to do your homework on. All of those are programs. And each of these programs is actually made up of a bunch of code that tells it what to do. So what do programmers do? Programmers are the people who write this code to create the programs. What is coding? Coding is giving a set of instructions to a computer to perform a specific task. Computers aren't very smart machines. They're not like you guys. You guys are very smart. Computers don't do anything until we tell them what to do. So if I were to give you some instructions like open the door, you would just walk over and open the door. For a computer, I would have to give it very specific instructions. For example, stand up, turn to the right, walk to the door, turn the handle, open the door, walk through the door, all of that just to get the computer to do one thing for us. All right. So the programmer is the one who actually writes the code to create the program. The computer reads the code and then performs the instructions that the programmer told it to do. So if you don't give the computer the instructions exactly the way that it wants it, according to the rules of whatever language you're using, then it's not gonna be able to perform the task. So it's like I'm speaking another language to you, right? If I told you to do something in Chinese, you probably wouldn't be able to do it because you don't understand what I'm saying. So programmers write the code to make the programs. Programmers write the code in a programming language. This is a language that both humans and computers can understand. Now let's do a quick activity. Which one of these do you think uses code? We've got a light bulb, a smartwatch, a microwave, and a fridge. What do you guys think? Which one of these uses code? probably have some ideas, right? So this light bulb, this looks like a smart light bulb where you can choose the different colors that you want. I actually have some of these in my house and they do require code to connect to the internet. And they also connect to an app to choose the colors. So that's also some code that's required with our light bulb. The smartwatch is almost like our cell phone, right? So it's a computer. Of course, this does require code. Each of those apps in your smartwatch is also written in its own code. The microwave does require some code as well, maybe not as much as the smartwatch or the light bulb, but even something as simple as keeping the time. That's something that we might need to actually use code to write. Uh, the fridge, so let's say we have a smart fridge. Again, we'd have to connect to the internet. Maybe it has a camera that's showing you what's going on inside of your fridge. All of those things are gonna require some level of code. All right, so you probably see that Code is all around us. You can think every day about all the things that you're using and how much of them actually require some level of coding. Now, why did we choose Python? In our middle school and high school programs, we start students off with Pythons as beginners for two reasons. It's easy to learn and it's very powerful, so you can do a lot with it. It's easy to learn because it's written kind of like English. The syntax or the way that you write it is very simple. There aren't a lot of extra characters to confuse you or mess you up. Also, Python is used by a lot of popular websites like Google and YouTube, maybe you've heard of them, um, and by scientists and AI engineers. So you can use Python in a lot of different ways in addition to it being very easy for you to learn. Let's take a look at some Python code and don't be intimidated. We're gonna go through it line by line. So what do we have here? The first line says, death display game winner, and inside parentheses, we've got player wins and computer wins. So this is a function definition. This function is called display game winner. So maybe you have some guesses on what it does. It displays who wins the game. So there are what wants some information called player wins and computer wins. So inside of this function, it says if player wins is greater than computer wins, print player wins the series. So it's saying that if the number of player wins, so you win more times than the computer, then we're gonna print out a message that says player wins the series. So this is the case when the player wins. Else if computer wins is greater than player wins, so if the computer wins more times than the player wins, then we're gonna print something a little different. We're gonna say computer wins the series. So this is the case where the computer wins. Now, what if nobody wins? Else, print the series tied, right? So if 
the player doesn't have more wins or the computer doesn't have more wins, meaning they have the same amount of wins, then we're gonna print the series has tied. You should have a better understanding now of code and the Python language. Next time we're gonna talk about data and some specific Python data types. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along. Kids can also join live online coding classes with instructors like me at Code Wizards HQ. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see you next time.